Doc? Yeah, what is it, Festus? How come you're looking so grinny in the face? Was I looking grinny in the face? Yeah, you are, and it just ain't natural for you to look so grinny. You must be a having high hystericals. No, Festus, I guess I was just having some memories. You see, I heard or I read someplace a long time ago that every man's entitled to three things in this life. One good horse, and one good dog, and one good woman. Well, now, if that's true, I must be about the luckiest fella in the world because I've had him. All three. My horse's name was Bill. Now, Bill wasn't a fancy horse. He didn't race a quarter of a mile, or a mile, or a mile and a quarter, or anything like that. No, sir. My horse, Bill, could run ten miles. And he did, too, lots of times, and once, he ran a lot farther than that, and then he swam across a raging Kansas creek with me hanging on to his back so I could get to the other side and help a little fella come into this world that just sure wouldn't have made it without old Bill. And you know that little fella? He grew up to be a United States Senator. And another time, a little girl coming home from school got lost in a Kansas blizzard and old Bill helped me find her. And he brought that little girl and me, both of us, home safe, pulling my old buggy into the teeth of a north wind 15 below. Well, old Bill, he was 20 years old then, and it was just too much for him. He was a good horse. My little dog's name was Cricket. I called him Cricket the first time I ever saw him because I knew he'd never get any bigger than that. But Cricket didn't think so, no sir. He thought he was as big as any Great Dane or Airedale you ever saw, especially when another dog had come into the yard. He'd rear up on his hind legs and he'd growl and he'd carry on, did something fierce. But I could see he'd sneak a look at me every once in a while to see if I was noticing how brave and fearless he was. Well. Cricket got old like we all do, you know. His joints got creaky and his eyes got dim and he'd spend most of his time just kind of laying by my chair on the sunny side of the house. One day I looked down there and there was Cricket sound asleep. He was a good dog. I called her Maggie. Of course, her name was Margaret, but she was Maggie to me. Little red-headed, freckle-faced, pigtail thing that followed me all around. Spoiled all my fun when I was a boy. Well, time came when I went away, and I guess I was gone quite a while, because when I came back, there was Maggie. The most beautiful thing I ever saw. Just took my breath away. Well, as soon as I could, I screwed up my courage, and I, I said to her, Maggie, will you marry me? And she said, oh, my, yes. Well, we'd be together now, long about this time of life, long about sunset. I wandered today to the hill, Maggie, to watch the scene below. The creek and the creaking old mill, Maggie, as we used to long, long ago. The green grove is gone from the hill, Maggie, where once the days is sprung. But I love you the same as of old, Maggie, when you and I 